Charles Darwin was born in 1809 into a well-off Shropshire family. His father was a doctor, a good-natured but very strict parent. His grandfather, Erasmus Darwin, had already written about evolution at a time when nearly everyone else in Britain believed in the literal truth of the Bible. The Book of Genesis was regarded as an exact account of the early history of the world. One scholar had even calculated that God had created the human race in the year 4004 BC on Sunday, October the 23rd at 9 o'clock in the morning. Actually, what mattered to most people was not the exact time and date, but the fact that the human race had been created by God. A few years before Darwin was born, a churchman called William Paley had published a very influential book about the origins of life. And he made the point very strongly that the very complexity of the world we live in argued for a divine creator. Let me show you one of his examples. He said, suppose you're walking along and you find a stone. You wouldn't be particularly surprised by that. There are lots of stones lying around. But suppose walking along through the wood, you found this. Now, if you'd never seen a watch before, it would be very hard to imagine that this had appeared there just by chance. It must surely have been created for a specific purpose. But living things were even stronger evidence of a great designer, Paley said. If you looked at something like the human eye, how could you believe that such a delicate, complex and ingenious organ could come about purely by chance? And to Paley, the human eyeball was absolute proof. It was clearly created by design, and the designer could only be God. If you had no other explanation for our presence here on Earth, then Paley's ideas made a lot of sense. But Paley went on to say that because they had been created by God, all living things were by definition perfect and would never need to change. And it was this assertion that living things never need to change that was going to be challenged by the new ideas on evolution. <laughs>